Hey, what's up guys? My name's Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about my speculation and a bit of a theory on the Destiny 2 raid. Now, we do know that a trophy came out saying complete the Leviathan raid. What is the Leviathan? That's what I'm going to be discussing and breaking down in this video. So before that, let's smash for 45 likes, guys. Honestly, I have a pretty good theory put together here. So smashing 45 likes will be easy peasy. Promise me. Promise me you can do this, guys. Right. So, it's mainly the fact that Bungie have a reputation of just bringing back some of their old concepts from Destiny 1 and stuff like that and throwing it into the future DLCs that we've seen come with Destiny 1 and also the Destiny 2 dubious volley. So they're bringing things back that could have been in the first Destiny and they're putting them into the second Destiny. That's pretty interesting because it does lead into my theory. So first of all, what is the Leviathan? Well, people keep coming up with this image right here, which is what I think could have just been a concept early stages for the Dreadnought, you know, something big. The mouth on the front of this ship kind of looks like something that you would see glowing off of a Dreadnought concept. So I don't think that this is the Leviathan. Of course, there's massive links if you watch Destiny Guide's video on this, that this could be something to do with the Leviathan, but I don't think the scale of this makes much sense. And I do get that, you know, the Cabal take out planets, but I don't think this is how they do it. So the Leviathan. A Leviathan can be associated with something like a squid. Squid tentacles, stuff like that, so keep that in your head for now. We also know that the main boss of Destiny will be a shapeshifter. They said this in an interview, that the final raid boss will be a shapeshifter. Now, something else that was mentioned in Destiny 1's original concept idea for the campaign was that deep below the Hellmouth, there was a weapon that could destroy the Traveler, and that's what the Hive were you know, making, they were processing to destroy the Traveller. However, I think the concept of having a super weapon that will destroy the Traveller is something that they're going to keep in Destiny 2. And that's where this thing comes in. You see this thing? You see how it floats? Yeah, that's what I think a squid would look like if it was, you know, a mechanical creation. If it was a giant mechanical ship. People have been saying Leviathan is a ship. This is a ship. It's a Leviathan. It's a super weapon. It's destroying the Traveller. And believe me, I think that this thing is also folded or shape-shifted into this other attacking mode where it's actually shooting a beam off into the sun or it's absorbing the sun's power. Behind it in this short tiny clip, you see what I think is the Leviathan also with a destroyed travel behind it, giving it the power to be able to do this. Honestly, I think this is what this is. I think this weapon is a super weapon built to destroy the Traveller. Of course, it's locking down and draining the light out of the Traveller, and then it's also seen draining the light or destroying the sun of our solar system. So how do we fight something that's destroying our own sun? Well, that's where the raid comes in. You see some clips of people going into what looks like the Vault of Glass, and you also see this clip right here of people jumping down into a Vex construction. There's also various clips in other trailers where you're walking around kind of a destroyed time dimension zone where like there's random bits of different time zones floating in space and what I really think happens is the sun does get completely effed but we go back in time through the vault of glass which is where Atheon was trying to fuck with time but we go back and fuck with time and then we save the city, we destroy the Leviathan and that's the raid. Gaul, the console, they are going to have something to do with shutting down or destroying the Leviathan, ensuring that it doesn't completely destroy our Traveller and doesn't fuck with our sun. That's our sun, bitches. Leave it alone, okay? So tell me what you think about my theory. Do you think that this massive squid-looking ship could be the Leviathan, and do we have to destroy this before it destroys our sun completely? Do you think it would be cool for us to go back in time and destroy the shape-shifting mecha squid? Tell me what you think in the comments below. That's all for today, guys. I hope this made sense. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this on social media for more Destiny tips, tricks, news, and updates in the community. My name's been Erupt, and have a great day.